<laughs> Welcome back, Fancy Beauty Symbols. It's your girl Gina coming through with another video. This is a requested video on how I decorate my mirrored cocktail table. Oh, I just aged myself. Coffee table. <laughs> So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video and show you just how I decorate this coffee table. All right, so first, I'm not going out to buy anything. I'm gonna use all the items that I have on hand already. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to find you a centerpiece because once you find that centerpiece, all the other pieces will flow easily together, if that makes sense. So it is a little daunting. It is a little on the hard side when it comes to decorating a mirrored table because you don't, you wanna make sure you pick the right pieces and it's not gonna clash with and fight against the mirrored table because let's be real. We purchased the mirror table because of the glam factor, because of the bling factor, right? So you want to get pieces that's going to complement other de decor that's inside of your living space. So in my space, I have, I say my style is a little eclectic with a touch of modern and also a touch of glam. Now, with that being said, I also have color, I have texture, I have simple decor pieces too. The colors that I've chosen is like a turquoise green, and then I have also that mustard yellow color as well that I have in the living space. And don't be afraid to layer your items. So here you see me placing another mirror dish tray on top of this mirror table. And I know most people would be like, no, don't do that. But you have to not be afraid to test things. See what it looks like. If it doesn't look right, what all you got to do is just take it away. In my case, it's working. So I'm just giving you tips and tricks that you can use when you are trying to accomplish decorating your mirror table as well. So on that tray, I just put a candle and I put some spike, a spiky round piece that fit real nice in that dish tray. I'm going through and I'm decorating each corner of the table. Now, you don't have to do this because if you have the minimalistic decor style, you don't want all this on your table. You can do a simple centerpiece, which I've done that before, where I just had those tall candles and then I had the books with the beads falling off the books. It looked really nice, but I'm the type of person, I don't like empty spaces. So I wanted to fill my table up, at least the top part of the table. So I brought in uh, some books that I had on the table already. I used that. I also used, on top of the books, I put, as you can see, a faux plant and then my beads. All my decor, I believe, came from Home Goods, if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, I know it did because that is my jam. And all these items were purchased maybe two to three years ago. So I've already had these items in my arsenal. On the other side, as you saw, I just placed some coasters in a coaster holder that it was purchased that way. And then also the star decor that's over there with that as well. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the bottom portion of the table and we're gonna decorate that too. We're not gonna leave that space empty. I went really simple with the bottom part of the table. I simply added some books 
and my two little monkeys. I took the books and I stood them upright and then I put a monkey on each side but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for the request I hope it helped I want you guys to not be afraid to experiment to go in and just rearrange things shop your home you guys hear us say that all the time shop your home don't be afraid to move things around because guess what that is going to save you coins and that's what it's all about when you're decorating your home you want it to look nice and you want to keep your purse nice too okay so i will see you guys in the next video and take care of yourself stay fancy and i'll see you soon